Okay, okay. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this for over two years. This is the Avogat Glyph. Uh, just finally came a couple hours ago. Um, took about, I think, five days to get here from China. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, I'll get this open here. And then we can pull out the box. Really nice. Set this off to the side. So you can see here, um, this is the Founders Edition, so Kickstarter backers, and um, I assume that it'll be different packaging for any pre orders after that. And uh, yeah, so it's been a long time waiting for this, and I'm really excited. Um, and then, you know, box. Pretty simple, just kind of explaining some uh, facts and stuff about it, you know, the specs and measurements, um, and then how the technology works. Um, it's similar to a projector screen in a movie theater, <clears throat> and it uses micro mirrors to bounce light from an LED onto your retinas, and so that's why it's a virtual retinal display. And that's um, a lot better on your eyes compared to looking at a street screen up close. Um, like with the Oculus Rift or something like that. So, let's see, we'll opening, open the package here. Set that over there, and then I think we can slide off this outer cover. There we go. Second, see if we can figure out how to open this part. There we go. So this must be the uh, strap that you can optionally put over the top of the glasses to hold it better on your head. Um, if you're doing, you know, maybe playing a game or something, and you don't care about looking funky um, in public, then this is probably what you'd use when you have it down in video mode. Um, just to go over your head to give more support and keep it off your nose. And uh, so there's Velcro, looks like, in here. So you can adjust the size, and then it looks like it just clips in. That's pretty nice. And then this must be the carrying case. Just nice, kind of, uh, it's kind of velvet, almost. Uh, really nice inside there. There's a pouch, I guess, you know, maybe you put the glasses, or the glyph in here, that's a little bit more um, protection maybe, um, or other stuff you need, cables and stuff, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it's not exactly what they originally said they were going to ship with it, but that's still pretty nice, and I was able to find a case on Amazon that should fit everything pretty nicely um, for like 20 bucks, it's a Geekeria case. Um, and then we have our um, HDMI cable um, with um, the m micro, I believe, HDMI out, um, and the normal, um, or in, I mean, or again, out, and then this plugs into your normal device, or if you have a connection, so I bought a cable that uses the uh, mobile high definition link, so I can plug it into my phone um, and play games or anything like that. So there's the cable, and you can of course use any cable you want, as long as it'll plug into the micro HDMI port in the glyph. And then this is just normal USB uh, power. And then looks like the last thing we have here is the nose pieces, and so there's a lot of different nose pieces um, for different face styles, and you know, oops, everybody's different. So feel pretty nice. They're kind of silicone rubber, and I think that they just magnetically clip in, um, and you know, so you have to figure out which one works best, and uh, there's a bit closer view, so, and yeah, so, so, four different sizes, you can switch in and out, 
Uh, I think that's it. Oh, there's the instructions. Nothing underneath there. Um, I believe, yeah, that's just packaging. Hold it tight. So, look at this real quick. And they said they'll have software updates and update um, this manual a little bit better on how you, you know, get set up more for the motion tracking and stuff like that for games and figuring out uh, the 3D um, videos and stuff. So there's a microfiber cloth just to keep the lenses clean because you get hair grease or anything on there. Um, and then I'll look through this later and figure it out. But I think um, from what I've seen, it just kind of goes through and shows, you know, what each button does and what the light states mean and how long it'll take to charge and um, all that stuff and yeah, all the uh, health and recommendations. Um, so I'll go through that a little bit later. And then here is the clip. That's awesome. It's super solid. I, it looks way better than the original design. Um, you know, super close to kind of like the Beats design. Um, the head, or the, uh, in order to use the display, in the original design, you actually twisted this part here, um, and there was a mechanism there, but they went with a uh, solid design, so you just twist it on your head. Um, not, I think that's a lot better idea. There's no um, way to break that mechanism or anything. And you can just pull out on the side here to get your different... Um, spacing for your head um, and the uh, ear cups are really nice memory foam um, the sound's supposed to be really nice from what I've read too um, and we can go over there's some buttons uh, you know for volume and switching on 3d video and stuff um, and a couple other features um, let's see I think I believe this is the power switch and then there's the uh, charging USB and uh, micro HDMI port there um, and then the headphones, which you can use passively. Um, I believe the battery for video within it weighs, or lasts, um, I think, four hours is what the final number was. Um, but the, the audio can be used passively like a normal, normal pair of headphones indefinitely. Um, and then on the front here, we have the cover, which is kind of like a faux leather. Oh, it's got some... Uh, foam in there to kind of keep it stiff and that covers the eyepieces if you're gonna wear it just for audio and you don't want to get your hair grease or gel or whatever on the uh, glasses the optics and so if we can look in here there's the uh, optics there and you can change the pupillary distance by these pieces at the top um, which changes depending on the person and you can change the uh, um, settings for, you know, if you have glasses, if your, your eyes are bad, you can change that, I believe, with this uh, knob in the middle here. And then, I believe, the center button locks every, or actually, you can pop stuff, pop them in, so you can see they're in, and then they'll pop back out. So if you want to use it in just audio mode and get them out of the way, then they're out of the way, and you can pop them out, which is actually a really nice feature. Um, and then, if we kind of look over here, they have... Um, a protective cover over this, which is the uh, just general nose piece. Um, that's probably what you want to put in if you're just looking at stuff really quick or if you're using an audio mode to get out of the way. And then you can take one of the other nose pieces when you're going to use it for a longer period of time. Oops. And those should just snap right in there. And that actually fits really nice. Um, it's just magnetic. Um, and those two. Um, knobs there are slightly um, chamfered so they slide in nicely um, and seat it. So overall this is really nice. It's way way better than what the original version was um, and I'm so glad that I invested the money in this and uh, so we'll definitely try to get some more videos about setting it up and using it and you know finding the 3D content and everything works. So, until then, see you later.